All right, pro tips for paras and vehicle transfers. That's a question everybody has. I know there's tons of videos out there for you, but this is how I do it. One stop shop with the pro tips. Oh, we're in Makawao, Maui at my girlfriend's place who runs Adaptive Maui. Uh, it's incredible here. It's a little mountainous. I came for a lot of biking. Biking is looking like it's going to be 50% of what I wanted it to be, but it's just, it's a beautiful place. Nice and warm and I don't have snow pants on right now. So this makes vehicle transfers a little bit, I don't know, it's almost easier when you have all the padding on because if you miss, then it doesn't matter. So for a vehicle transfer into the driver's seat, I pull the chair up on an angle, same way as I would any other seat transfer where this corner of my seat is as close as it can possibly be to where I'm transferring. I will take, we're actually just in the middle of the road, so there's <laughs> traffic. Um, throw a foot in, make sure my knee's bent, otherwise it'll shoot right underneath of the gas and the brake. A lot of the times I'll leave my other one on the foot plate, but these tiny cars, they aren't the same as my SUV. So I will set it on the ground. Grabbing the steering wheel is the best bet. I stick my hand as far under my butt as I can to get the, the push in and up. So you can see my foot slid and doesn't want to always cooperate, but we're in. And then you rip the chair apart, which is cool because the seat is full of sand and that shouldn't come inside anyways. Seat in, kick back the chair. So I always rest this on my car and I know that's not the best thing for a rental. So we'll try. not rest the chair on the car. Flip the backrest down, pick it up, spin it around. And second wheel comes in. They live in the back seat, usually on the floor if they can, or just on the back seat. Sometimes that's dirty, all the time it's dirty. There's sand everywhere in all the vehicles I drive. And then, this, I pull in from the bottom. So get a handle here. Bounce it off the car a little bit. Get my shirt dirty. And that sits in the passenger seat. If I pick somebody up, it'll go in the back, sometimes in the trunk. And then I if it gets left there, then it's an entertaining butt scoot outside of the vehicle to go and get it. But, and then we reverse that whole process. Put the backrest up so I have a handle usually to pull. And then something to drop it down on when it comes out of the car. Again, very different than my SUV. My SUV has no more paint down here. I have bounced the wheelchair off of my vehicle enough that is buffed to shiny metal. You can't see any of the stickers. The VIN number is no longer in the door. And rest it on the foot plate. One wheel. The other thing, if you feel like you're going to fall out of the car, make this lock and use it when you're leaning. 
you can lean all the way out of the vehicle and your seatbelt will hold on to you. So you can go as far as you like without falling out of the car. Uh, there are big tall vehicles that I get into. I'll usually put the seatbelt around one shoulder just because when I fall, I can't hit the ground. You'll actually just topple head first out of the car. But these small vehicles, like I can hit the ground. I'll never forget the first day I was in tears in the car because I almost did fall out and it just felt like defeat. And now if that happens, I usually laugh and brush it off. And it's kind of funny that you almost face plant out of your own vehicle as an adult, but we get over, we get over it. And then again, both feet out. Driver's side transfers are easier because you have a nice big steering wheel to grab onto. And away you go. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna flip the car around and talk about how to get in and out of the passenger side. Uh, you can do it from the grass. It's fine. It just makes the car kind of lower to get into and out of, but yeah. Shoes are for chumps. <laughs> Say that louder. <laughs> what shoes are for chumps. <laughs> when you're in Hawaii, you don't have to wear shoes. <laughs> Just a recommendation. Helps with the body temperature regulation. Imagine how hot my feet would be if I put shoes on in Hawaii. So you can tell everybody what you're doing before you... Uh... Oh, uh, <laughs> pro tips for Paris and getting out of the car from the passenger side. Uh, always a little bit different than the driver's side. Jesse was kind enough to put my chair together for me so I didn't have to do that. But there's no grabbing devices a lot of the time in cars. So that and, you know, we are parked on the opposite side of the street so it makes it easier to get out instead of having to get up onto a curb but yeah both i throw both my feet out when transferring out of the vehicle even from a really tall one uh just helps with the with your balance point and then i push off the seat from in here and grab onto my wheelchair to actually you know swing my butt out and around fortunately with cars it's all pretty together here so if you miss you just end up sitting on the door frame and you can kind of fumble your way up from there but yeah grab onto the chair do a hoist up and in super simple i'm full of sand but that's okay um, and then back into the vehicle from the passenger side i put both my feet in usually on the passenger side I don't from the drivers and I don't really know why. I usually leave one of my feet on the foot plate if the vehicle's not raised up too high. Um, lower vehicles, I guess it's kind of personal preference, but this at least ensures everything's in the car when you go in the car if your chair decides to go somewhere else. And then this way into the vehicle, you could transfer with your chair you know bump your butt in that way and away you go or oh yeah yeah it's always harder to transfer out with both of them in but any usually i reach with my opposite hand inside the car grab the handle the oh shit handle that's here sometimes it's here um you know, if it's a bigger vehicle, sometimes they have the, like Jeeps, I know have the handle here. So when you're reaching up and in, cause they're usually lifted, but this, and I pull up. Oh, and then I have a spasm, which is great. And I have to unlock it with my other hand, but yeah, not the prettiest thing in. All right, so out, both feet out. Push off the chair. Inside the car, I always use my knuckles because my hands and my fingers get sore with time and age and overuse. 
Again, it's the lift. So you could even practice, you know, it's kind of safer to go up and down. Just practice sitting your butt in the chair and getting to a point where you can kind of weight bear on your feet outside of the vehicle. You don't have to worry about putting your head too far forward in the car because it will always end up resting over here if you get too far forward and you won't fall over onto your face. So then in, small vehicles are a little bit different than larger vehicles. So, you know, one foot in is okay. And I like to, I have extensor issues. So pull up and in. Make sure you grab onto this bar with your opposite hand. If you grab with this hand, you're gonna run into your own arm and you won't be able to get in the car. But that's in and out. Pro tips for paras. And contrary to most people's opinions, I have a harder time getting in and out of cars than I do bigger vehicles. Like even, so I'm staring at a Subaru out back right now they're up a little bit higher so it makes the wheelchair height so that it's the same instead of a car sometimes you're getting out up out of the car which is difficult then i start to use the roof but it's a little bit difficult in this one when you get like lower sporty vehicles then you really kind of got to grab onto the rail up top so pro tips for parents Transferring, vehicle transferring.